Well, after two years, Good Samaritan Hospital announced its decision to drop its masking requirement in all facilities beginning today. The decision comes as a result of updated guidelines from the CDC for health care facilities. Will Price has more on why Good Samaritan's policy could change soon. Will. The updated guidelines from the CDC factor in community transmission, and with Knox currently at low levels of transmission, masks are currently optional throughout all of the hospital's hallways. It feels like I'm forgetting something. That was the feeling around Good Samaritan Hospital on Tuesday they dropped their masking requirement for everyone throughout the hospital. Director of Marketing and Public Relations, Tiffany Conover, says it was an adjustment after a mandate that began in 2020. It's definitely been an interesting experience today, but it's wonderful seeing people's faces again because in all reality, there have been people that we've passed in the hallway and we haven't seen their face in over two years. But the policy can change based on community transmission rates. We're going to be reevaluating our mask policy every Monday based on what the color of Knox County is as far as how the transmission goes. So right now we're in green, which is masking optional. Moderate transmission would require for masking in some spaces, while high transmission would call for a masking requirement. The Knox County Health Department will continue to require masking despite the recent update. The director of their COVID clinic, Betty Lankford, says she hopes numbers can continue to stay low in the community. I'm glad our numbers are down. It shows me that the people are maybe paying attention. People are getting vaccinated. Uh, and maybe this booster is really working hard on, on the variant that's out there right now. But Lankford encouraged people to take the necessary precautions to keep numbers down in Knox County. There's 50.7% of the residents in Knox County that are vaccinated. That's not a real pleasing number to me. Um, that doesn't make me feel real positive that we're going to be able to put it down with half the population still being not vaccinated. I reached out to several other hospitals in the area, including Union Hospital and Terre Haute Regional Hospital. And all of the ones that got back to me have said that they will continue to require masking for the time being. Mike and Dana. All right, thanks a lot, Will.